Hey guys, welcome back to another sit down with me, Ali Hassan. Now let's let's change something in this video, right? And and I haven't been making a whole lot of videos of late, and there's a reason for that. The reason is I don't really have any ideas, <laughs> so that was the reason. That is the reason. But in this one, I want I'm gonna do something different, right? So this is the space where I sit down and speak to you guys. And, and make most of my videos. And as you can see, for starters, this isn't the most creative space that one can have. I mean, you've got a big cardboard hanging right there. And there's a reason for that, and a very good reason, which I'm gonna tell you. But this video is about changing my YouTube space. Yeah, this, I figured if I'm gonna sit down and record videos, and if I need creative ideas, I should have at least a creative space. I mean, this should, the place should really be an extension of your personality and the videos you're trying to create, which I don't think it is at the moment. So, let's change that. And coming back to this, funny story, well, actually not very funny. A few months back, well, I don't own the apartment, for starters, like, I don't own this apartment. So, a few months back, the landlord, he came to the apartment saying, oh, there's a big water leakage in the building and we need to figure that out, where the water leakage is from. So, they came in and they drilled a big hole right through my wall. They didn't find anything when they just left. And they promised to fix it, they haven't fixed it ever since. And since that day, I've got this cardboard hanging on my wall. And it's just not one, it's this one right here and the one on top. So as you can see, this isn't the most ideal place to create videos. So I'm gonna change that. Let's change that together, right? So this is where I'm at and I have like I said, I have a few ideas. Let's see where we get them. Let's see how the best we can make of this room. This isn't a very big room. Look, I mean, oops, that's not. I need to be more careful. This isn't a very big room. Like, my hands can actually touch the walls if I spread it across. And, uh, but, with ideas, with a little determination, I think we can do it. Or I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm gonna fail. At least I'll make a video. So, let's get to work. For starters, I'm gonna order a bunch of frames from Amazon. Yeah, a whole lot. You know what they say? When in doubt, go to Amazon. I I I don't know who says that. I don't say that. Looks like Amazon just read my mind. For the frames. Let's go. Let's open these. Alright. I think we got them. So we've got eight of these. So we have frames. All we need are pictures. Now let's get some really, really good pictures. Eight of them. Let's see what we can do about them right now. Right. Now that we've got frames sorted out, it's time to think about pictures. Now, the pictures I wanna select uh, it's gonna be a mix of, of various portraits that are really special to me. Uh, some pictures hold a value in my life I draw inspiration from and some have played a really important part of my life as growing up. So uh, I've selected some, I'm gonna hang them up, I need them printed. So I've used a company called Poster Jack in Canada. So it's a really simple link is in the description. You select the picture you want uh, or pictures you want Select dimensions, the paper you want to print them on. These are 18 by 12 frames. So you select that, send it off to them, and they print it over and send right back at you. Really good, really efficient, and 
high quality pictures. So if you want your pictures to be printed out on really really good print paper, use poster jack. They're not paying me for this. I wish they did, but they're not. <laughs> right. Poster jack, they have been kind enough and I've got this. So let's hang them up and see how they look. And finally, get rid of this. Right, I think we're done, or almost done. So if you guys have been following along, you would know I've given my background a bit of depth or a bit of color by adding those picture frames. It just helps in you separating from the background. Earlier on, it was, it was just a plain background and it had no real separation. I've done that with using all the picture frames. And secondly, I've used the practical light, which you see over the shoulder right there. So that adds a bit of color and a bit of light to the background and it really helps. So another area where I need to put a little more lighting is this section of the video. Now, as you can see, it's still it's good, it's well lit, but it's a little dark and it's a little plain color if you ask me. So I'm gonna use the Aperture MC light which I have hidden right behind this monitor and I'm gonna use the app to control the lighting coming out from that area. So as of now, it's, it's switched off. So if I switch it on, they have it. It gives you a more reddish, well after I've chosen a, a, a reddish tint to it. I mean, you can push, move the slider right here and give it whatever look you like or whichever color you like. I've, um, I've given it a warmish red tone. So this is without that and this is with it. So you see it, there's, there's a small difference and you can even control the intensity of the light which is coming off. So this is at 50% intensity and it's at about 100%. I like to keep it somewhere between 50 and 70%. This is about, oh, 80%. So this is 80% of the color quality, color, color intensity. And now, as you can see, this lights up that section fairly well. So now you've got the entire video lit up by a bunch of practicals and that Aperture MC and my key light. Now, key light is the strongest light in my room. And since this room is not really big, you could, you could actually feel this sense of light bouncing off all the walls right here. It's almost like light cannot escape this room. It is like a black hole, if you get that reference. So, yeah, not the ideal situation, but hey, you can't really do much with the area I have. So, the key light, and my key light is not dimmable. It's not a dimmable key light. It's by, it's a $60, $60 key light by uh, a company called Mount Dog. It's a really budget. It's got a soft box and a key light, which is, that's the job, I guess. But for now, that's the key light I have, that's the practical, and then the Aperture MC. So we've got this three lighting points in the room as of now, and that's what's lighting the entire scene. And I think it looks a little, it looks a lot better. What it was earlier, like the frames give it a depth, it helps me separate from the background, which is really essential. And you, you can control the bit of lighting. So you know what, let me, let me try and switch off that practical and, and just show you how it looks. So, hold on. So now I've switched off that practical. Now as you can see that scene in the video, that area in the video rather, is, is in a shade. It's in the shadows and it's it's dark and it's, it's not very well lit. So that's what that practical does. So let me switch it back on. Just, this was just to give you a reference as to how little points in the video or little points in the scene enhances the way your video looks. And that was to prove the point. So hold on. Right there. So 
it's come back to you know, how it should be so i've got that practical there like i said i've got the aperture mc so this is without the mc the aperture mc and this is with and just to give you an idea how the light looks let me just pull this back up now this now this is the aperture mc it is a fantastic little light um it's for about 120 dollars canadian uh i think i got it on amazon for 130 between 120 and 130 dollars so what it does is that you have ton of capability in this uh in this light so like you said you can control it by the series app and just play around with the colors i mean you know you get this little blue that you like or a warmish orange yellowish so i, I like to keep it at uh, like I said, 84 plus 80, about 70 to 80 uh, percent intensity, and get warm tint, and place it anywhere in the scene. For instance, I'm gonna place it right back there. So there you have it. That's the entire lighting system, lighting this scene. So like that again, a key light right here, a practical there, and an aperture MC. That's it. So these are the little things you can do to make your scene come out and 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 improve your production quality. So this is what this video was for. So if you guys liked what you saw, if you want to follow along on, on all the equipment that I've been using, I, I will have links in the description down below. You can go check them out. If you like it, you can buy them. And just just, just play around. Look, this is not experimental. This room is A, not very well soundproof. This is not really a good soundproofing room. I feel the voice bouncing off the walls, which isn't the best. And, and I can see even light bouncing off because this is such a small room. But you have to play with what you have rather than complaining and, and not doing things if you just make a little effort and just play around with the resources that you have you will make a difference to your videos you, you will make a difference to your scene like what we did now so if you like i said if you want to follow along links in the description you can enhance your scene the way you want until next time take care and i will see you next one bye